hello there. Welcome back to another episode here on Hall Family Farms. And as you can see, I'm not out at the farm. You don't see the greenhouse behind me. I'm taking a little break. It's 92 degrees here on May the 22nd. And it's caused me to take some time to kind of reflect on things. And so as I've been building the farm here, it's caused me to reflect back on my childhood. Uh, I used to go and stay with my grandparents. They had a little farm in West Virginia. And my grandmother, after we'd work in the, the garden, pulling weeds in the morning, uh, in the afternoon, she would make us a special ice cream cone. She'd fill the cone up with vanilla ice cream, and then let me get a control of this thing. And then when she got to the top, she would put a layer of peanut butter, then a scoop of ice cream, and then a layer of peanut butter, and then another scoop of ice cream. And the combination is just out of this world. And I don't think I've had one of these since those days back on the farm. And it's caused me to really reflect on the next chapter in my life here. And it's also caused me to reflect kind of where I am in life and what I plan to do in the next chapter. Some of you I think I've shared with that are following the channel that I'm planning to retire at the end of June after working 32 years as a school social worker counselor and educator, I've decided that I want to spend the next chapter really exploring the farm here. Uh, I got into education initially because of my grandfather who also had a farm in West Virginia. And that's where I stayed and where I got a lot of my education on the farm. And it's caused me to reflect that you know, after he retired, he spent his time working on the farm and educating his grandchildren when they would come in to visit. And so that's, I think, what I'd like to do. It's exciting, but I still want to be in education, but I want to do it on my terms. So uh, the position that I was in, it, I, I was able to do some things and explore and be creative and really help a lot of kids. But there were also parts of the job that kind of restrained what I was able to do in helping kids. So I think I'm going to do that as well as, as you know, spending time here on the farm. I want to do some freelance educational consultation and really try to focus my energy on helping as many kids as I can, while also getting back into contact and making that connection with with the farm here so and so with that being said I'm gonna finish this ice cream cone before it totally gets all over me so with that being said I'm really excited and I want to continue to share this journey with you so if you're not already a subscriber please consider hitting that subscribe button doesn't cost you a thing to be a follower here on Hall of Family Farms. And if you click that notification bell, you'll never miss an episode. We're constantly updating new information, new material on our channel. And if you can give me a thumbs up, that gives me some feedback to let me know that, you know, I'm doing a good job and that you're happy with the content that we're posting on our channel. And if you want to give me a comment, that would be great too. Just make sure it's uh, positive or constructive in some way to help me out. I'm a novice, I'm still learning, so you know, if you want to help me out, great, that'd be great. Your constructive feedback will be greatly appreciated and welcome. So until the next episode, please be safe out there, take care, and we'll see you in the next episode. So long. Mmm. This combination is just how this world.
You know, it's it's always better when it gets a little messy.